Now talk about the arterial supply and nerve supply of your what I call the uh, large intestine. So remember, uh, as a general rule, we know that your midgut is actually dried. Is dr midgut drive structures are supplied by superior mesenteric artery, and hindgut drive structures are by inferior mesenteric artery. So we know that the ascending colon receives arterial supply from two branches of the superior mesenteric artery, the iliocolic and right colic arteries. The iliocolic artery give rise to colic, arterial and cecal posterior canal branches, all of which supply the ascending colon. And again, if you come further, we know that the transverse colon is right from both the midgut and hindgut, and is so is supplied by both, uh, which is called superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery. The descending colon is supplied by a single branch of the inferior mesenteric artery and the left colic artery which is and the sigmoid colon receives arterial supply via the sigmoid arteries branch of your inferior mesenteric artery. To make it uh, simple and easy to understand, remember the ascending colon and the half part of your this transverse colon is supplied by the superior mesenteric artery and half again the left half of it uh, and the descending colon and sigmoid colon is supplied by your inferior mesenteric artery. And uh, talking about, uh, let's, uh, let's move and talk about the nerve innervation. If you're talking about the nerve innervation, remember the midgut is dry, mid if you're talking about the midgut drive structure that is ascending colon and proximal two-third uh, of transverse colon receive their sympathetic parasympathetic nerves and via nerves from the superior mesenteric plexus and except that other structure that was the uh, one-third of the uh, transverse colon, the uh, descending colon and the sigmoid colon are supplied by the sympathetic parasympathetic supply from the inferior mesenteric plexus that is similar to your arterial supply. And if you're talking about the lymphatic drainage, remember that the lymphatic drainage of your ascending and transverse colon is into superior mesenteric nodes. So ascending and transverse colon into superior mesentic node, the descending colon and sigmoid colon drain into inferior mesentic nodes. It's very simple. It's all about superior and inferior in everything, in nerve supply, in arterial supply, in venous drainage, and everything. And further talking about the lymphatic drainage, you remember that most of the lymph from the superior mesentric and inferior mesentic nodes passes into the intestinal lymphatic tracts and onto the cisterna chile, which ends up into the thoracic duct. If you don't know, the cisterna chile is just a, a sac which is uh, which is in the path of the thoracic duct. Uh, you must watch your video on thoracic duct, which is a very detailed and understandable topic to understand these uh, this. Uh, what, what I call the uh, lymphatic drainage of the colon. If you talk about the last uh, topic which is the venous drainage, uh, so remember that the venous drainage of the colon is again similar to your arterial supply. That is your ascending colon uh, is it ends up into the iliocolic and right colic veins which empty into the superior mesenteric vein. Again your transverse colon empty into your superior mesenteric but descending uh, colon and sigmoid colon drain again into the uh, inferior mesenteric vein and remember the superior mesenteric vein and inferior uh, mesenteric veins ultimately empty into your hepatic portal vein which is formed by splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein and this allows your toxins absorbed from colon to be preceded by liver for detoxification and further into circulation and sent to other parts of the body so this is regarding all the topics of all the thing that is related to your colon or, or large intestine. For next video or anatomical video or physiological video, if you need any topic to be understood, please leave a comment and let us know. We'll be making a video on it. So keep visiting, tie this cooling, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.